Hey guys, welcome back to a, another card reading. Today we are going to be looking at what the monkeys uh, prediction is for this week. Um, so just like I've done in the other videos, I'll just go over a couple of things like I have done previously. This is the only time I'm going to do this. Next week we won't bother with all of this stuff. But just so you know, these are the cards I use, uh, which is the Chinese Oracle deck. Um, I only use these cards for this. I don't do anything um, else with them. They were literally just for these videos. Um, but I also use uh, this uh, book here, which is the Chinese Horoscopes by Theodore Lau and Laura Lau. Um, and it's not promotion or an advert for it. It's just I like to just uh, point people in the direction of the things that uh, I use, just in case you are interested. I'm a little bit disappointed this morning because uh, my um, dragon incense isn't um, isn't working. And I don't know why the backflow cone, I'm using new cones um, or different cones. The backflow is not working, so that's a bit of a disappointment, but there we are. It is what it is. Right, today we're going to do the uh, monkey cards, um, and the way this works is, as I say, I use the Chinese Oracle deck. Um, I've got 24 cards here. 12 of them are black, 12 of them are white, 12 are negative, 12 are positive. Uh, pretty self-explanatory, yin and yang. Um, so I've got 12 of the Chinese Zodiac, 12 uh, all black, 12 all white. So I've got a white rat, a black rat, I've got a white dragon, a black dragon, so on and so forth. I'm sure that uh, if you've tuned into the videos before, then you'll already know um, what I'm going to do. Um, but just briefly, I'm going to do a quick draw of um, past, present, future, if you like, uh, of basically a weekly prediction for all those that are born in the year of the monkey. Um, the way this works is basically, I'm going to shuffle these cards, uh, close my eyes because I don't want to see the yin and yang, um, and basically take one from the bottom, one from the middle and one from the top. Um, I'm really quite uh, glad that some of you have actually taken the time to leave comments and reviews and stuff on the videos, that's really good. Um, and I'm glad that people are uh, resonating with them, so that's quite good. Please do let me know in the comments below um, if it is uh, resonating with you or not. Um, and we're going to do this each week, like this uh, is the day uh, for the monkey. So if you haven't subscribed, at least tune in next week, because uh, I want to see how you're getting on, basically. Um, yeah, right, I'm uh, supposed to be picking cards. So we'll take this one from the bottom. We'll take this one from the middle. And we'll take that one from the top. What have we got? Two blacks and a white. So we've got two uh, negatives and a positive. And I will just say that it isn't like set in stone or anything, um, <laughs> obviously. But uh, this doesn't mean that you're going to win the lottery. Does This does not mean that someone's going to die. This just means that things could be better. And this means that things could be worse. That's all it means. Um, so it looks like all you monkey people out there right now um, have had a pretty hard time last week. You're going for a bit of a rough patch, but it does look like things are going to look up for you. So uh, let's have a little look to see what they say. Ah, so we've got a monkey card for the monkey. That is interesting. I say that's interesting simply because monkeys and monkeys make quite a successful team. So realistically, if this was a white card, that would mean a positive sign all round. But because it is a um, negative, I'm going to go on the assumption that you've had a hard week last week because you felt quite alone and had to do a lot of stuff by yourself. You haven't felt part of a team and you felt, uh, well, maybe you have been in, in a team that you haven't quite felt a part of and it hasn't worked out well for you and it's not been as successful as it could have been simply because the team that you're a part of is not working well together or you are absent of that team and it is just you. I feel that maybe there's been a bit of an upset, maybe in love, romance, that side of things, maybe with a relationship, um, or equally uh, a bit of an upset in business, um, at work. Those two things, um, they seem to, uh, they seem to come up and resonate quite well with that monkey card. Simply because I'm feeling like there is something that you're unsure of. I would say that perhaps that while you've been doing stuff and trying to get stuff done, it's not gone too well. The monkey card is a doer card. It's the, you know, getting stuff done and stuff like this. So realistically, um, you should be getting stuff done, but it doesn't look like it's working out for you very well. Maybe because you haven't been a part of that team 
or the team's not been pulling its weight or equally so you haven't been pulling your weight within the team there's a bit of a breakdown here in a in a team situation maybe that is the relationship that sort of teamwork or maybe it is in business with your co-workers i feel that maybe there's some sort of rivalry or jealousy um there's something uh, that is quite uh Something that's quite relevant to bring out the selfish streak or the competitive streak in you, because um, monkeys are very competitive, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. I feel that negotiation. I feel that maybe negotiations or something went a bit south, and you tried to compromise with something. Maybe there was a choice or a decision, in, and the the person that was given this choice chose wrong, or potentially um, hasn't got round to actually uh, putting their words into actions yet, and you've noticed this. I feel like that you've uh, had to compromise too much this week and now you feel a bit weak, a little bit weak because uh, you're feeling like um, having to compromise, feel, you feel like it's maybe exploited you, you felt a bit exploited this week and obviously as a monkey that is going to irk you big time, you don't take advantage of monkeys, simple as that um, because you're not playing games here. Are you? You're not playing games and you're not going to follow the rules even if you were, something's definitely upset you this week something romantically or something within work and i think it's got something to do with decisions choices or potentially something's not worked out the way you wanted it to do or the way you wanted it to so i think that maybe it's taking its toll on you because although stuff was done or things are being done you aren't happy about it and that's brought you to now where you're still in that negative space but you're in the negative space with the dog card so you're on the defense right now. You are feeling defensive. You are feeling like uh, things are out of your control and you need to herd it back into a place where you're in, where you are in your comfort zone so you can call the shots. The dog card is not necessarily a bad card either for the monkey because there are no animosities between the dog and the monkey. The dog and the monkey are actually quite, um, you know, they're okay with each other. They have a mutual respect for each other. They'll stay out of each other's way and stuff. And maybe that's what you're feeling right now. Like you need to stay out of people's way. You need to stay out of the way of these people or the person or, or, or whoever has let you down or disappointed you. Whoever has caused this issue for you last week, you feel it's best that you just stick to yourself, do your own thing, be a bit defensive, put your walls up a little bit, just stay out of other people's way. It's almost like somebody's pulled your tail and has basically made a bit of a mockery of you and you're not having that. You're definitely not having that. So your teeth are bared. You are you are in a defensive place right now where you're looking out for yourself. You're trying to protect yourself. You're trying to you're trying to make sure that whatever happens, worst case scenario, you are not going to be the one that falls out the tree. And that is a monkey uh that is a monkey sort of trait. They will hold on until the end. And uh, they'll be the last ones to let go. And I think this dog card is telling you to look out for yourself right now and to protect yourself and to be on that defensive. Because you've had to be. You've had to look out for yourself, especially after this week. I feel you're going to benefit from that as well, from just being withdrawn. Just being a little bit introverted. Taking a step back, sitting by the fire. Put your feet up a little bit and just kind of uh, reflect on stuff reflecting all the stuff that's happened in the week before really think about it as well because you need to be cynical you need to be a critic in this you need to be your own critic and I think that's what you need to be or maybe you have been your own critic and you're, you're literally criticizing yourself right now presently um, and that's why you're withdrawing on the defense you're not gonna have anybody else criticize you but you're going to criticize yourself a little bit and that's spummed you out a bit but it looks like you've come to some positive realizations so that's that's a good card here it's a positive one to look forward to I think what this could potentially be is somebody has upset you and although things happened and not everything was, you know, uh, doom and gloom, it wasn't as you expected or as you wanted or as you would have done it. And you've had to compromise and you've had to negotiate and this is not, this hasn't really necessarily gone well for you. You've realized a few things. Because you had to do it. These things had to be done. So don't feel bad about that. They had to be done. It's just now, where you are, you're in a place of um, defense. But going into next week, oh, look at this. We've got the positive monkey. So that is really going to spin it around for you. So you have had a bit of a crappy week. But potentially, 
this time alone or this time thinking about yourself, it's going to bring it back around. You're going to find that things are going to be easy to communicate. You're going to find that you're going to find that it's going to become easier to communicate and to talk to talk to those you want to talk to. You may also have found that through your reflection that the negotiations and compromise that you've had to make may not necessarily a bad th- be a bad thing. And therefore, you've been able to move on from it and uh, pull yourself together. Hang on to that tree. You are literally hanging on to the tree. You've you've triumphed. You have triumphed here. This is really good for uh, monkey people this week by the looks of things. You're going to get some stuff done. And that stuff's going to be productive. It's going to be good. There may also be some social stuff coming up. Um, you may actually have like a party perhaps with friends or a night out that you're looking forward to. Or or that partner or person that you've fallen out with is going to uh, come back around and basically uh, you're going to enjoy the benefits of that. Whether it be a more comfortable place at work or a more comfortable place at home, you're going to feel a lot more comfortable when in your element this week. And don't forget, as we move into the year of the dragon, which will be in February, um, the monkey is also in the triangle of the dragon. It's in the uh, affinity triangle of compatibility. So as we move forward into the year, the monkey is going to see a lot more uh, opportunities to get things done, especially in business and at work. So we're going to be keeping an eye on this. If you've enjoyed it or it resonates, please do leave a comment below because I do like to hear what uh, people do feel when they uh, see the cards or hear my uh, interpretation of them. But what I realistically see is basically there is an unyielding compromise or a negotiation that has gone sour between somebody that you either work with or it's affecting work or it's something to do with home romantically, somebody that you're close to, maybe a work colleague or somebody like this. Um, and it's happened to uh, put you in a place of defense and have your guard up to protect yourself, to think about things and to criticize yourself a little bit. You have to, because that's what you do, because you've got to get better. You've got to get better. The monkey's got to figure out what's gone wrong and fix that problem. And it looks like that monkey is going to find the solutions to those problems this week. So uh, I'll look forward to hearing what you monkeys get up to during the week next week. Because as I say, don't forget that Friday mornings are going to be monkey mornings. And we will be doing a, another monkey reading next week, um, next Thursday morning. This afternoon, however, we'll be doing a reading for all the rooster people. So if you would... Uh, if you would like to check that out, hit the subscribe button because that will be uh, uploaded, uploaded later on this afternoon. I don't do personal readings with these cards, but if anybody would like a personal reading, I do use my uh, Dragon Oracle cards, which are these ones by Diana Cooper. Um, I've also got the book that goes with that, which I don't have to hand right now, but you may have seen it in other videos. Um, and that kind of complements those uh, Dragon cards there um, for a more in-depth readings. So if you are interested, then please do uh, leave a comment below, hit the subscribe button, um, and I will see you this afternoon when we do a reading for the Rooster People. Have a great day, guys.